Yeah, he's like, my way or the highway, bro. My way or the highway. And this one, that's his do not mess with me. He goes, do not mess with me. Yeah, I love it. What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. That's right, playing here on the Alpha Tribe server on the new Valgaro map, having so much fun doing flips. Man, oh man, guys, thank you so very much for coming, hanging out, joining me on the adventures. As you always do, please remember. Show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. That's right. And if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe for the daily arc. Awesome. This man, oh man, speaking of awesome, we got this amazing. Yeah, I know. I saw him running up. I was like, please don't attack him until I'm done with my intro. We got this amazing, amazing new atlas drake it is so incredibly cool it's more like a dragon or wyvern than a drake at least in the arc sense but it's super sweet it's able to harvest metal it's able to do fire attacks it could take on alphas it has the most powerful fire attack i've ever seen not by single hits but the number of times that it connects is just unmatched from anything else that i've seen when you can con connect, gee, oh, you know what? I think that guy, I think he's immune to fire. That's why it's not connecting. But yeah, I love him. I totally love him. I'm so happy we got him. Let's check out the roar. Yeah, do not mess with me. I love him. And a feature that a lot of the newer um, modded creatures, at least the dragon type creatures have, is this guy's able to do dive bombs like soaring just like a griffin or a snow owl it is so cool and it makes flight on this guy so much faster oh you can shoot off of him too yeah pretty handy dandy definitely could be used as an everyday mount anywho we added in a new mod to the server it's another one of chadlos chadlos's mods and this one is from dark and light it takes a bunch of the dark and light creatures remember that game yeah, it was a pretty cool game. Definitely, definitely. But I think the creatures are even cooler when they're in arc. So I want to head out and see if we could find one for today. There's a lot of new like golems, elementals, dragons, a lot of like um, different demon like sort of lion, cat, saber tooth or dire wolf looking creatures. There's a lot of stuff. It's a really neat mod. But it is a private mod at the time, at the moment. So only the select few that uh, are chosen are able to use the mod. So it's pretty cool. Definitely pretty cool. We're going to try it out. And we're going to see if we like it. Anywho, 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 let's go out on the hunt and let's see what we can find for today. I just know today is going to be an epic day. Holy cow. Will you look at this thing? Oh my goodness, that is awesome looking. Is this one of the new guys? Yes, it's a Wind Rider. I think this is one of the bigger, I mean, there's a couple of different dragon type, wyvern type creatures in this mod, but this one I think is one of the cooler ones. Definitely want it, it's a good level. We need to nab this guy. So how is he, do oh, oh, that's the Stego. Whoo, for a second I was like, oh no, he's almost dead. All right, let's help them out. Let's get rid of some of the bigger carnivores in the area. We do not want this guy getting into a fight with anything after we knock him out. All right, so we got that. There's another Rex over here, Stego. All right, got those guys. Holy crap, there's a Wyvern. Or a Hellkite. My bad, my bad. And how are we doing? All right, I think it's looking pretty safe. I don't know what he's... Oh, he's fighting dang hyenas or something. Oh no, those are gonna be a huge pain in the butt. They're gonna be a huge pain in the butt to try and get. All right, there's a couple more guys. Let me clear out the area just a tad bit more and then let's tame them. All right, guys, I got just about everything cleared out except for this one dang little guy right here. He's been a pain in my butt. He's way too close to the Wind Rider for me to actually hit him. So I'm just gonna kinda shoot at both of them. Maybe I get the other guy downed, or I'll get the Wind Rider out, and then as soon as he's knocked out, I can go up. All right, who'd I hit there? All right, I got the Wind Rider there. 
As soon as he falls down, I can smash the other guy. Hopefully, this is the hope. All right, Wind Rider, that's two. Man, I'm getting this guy pretty good. I'm just very scared about this other guy. What is your deal? He is way harder to hit. All right, all right, who'd I hit? Yes! All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's get this dumb guy out. Come here, bro. All right, where's the, oh, uh, Wind Rider's coming quick. All right, got him out. Down and out. All right, now we can safely take out the Wind Rider. All right, come here, Wind Rider. For whatever reason, he doesn't seem to be very interested in me. There we go, there we go. Yes, that hopefully, man, his torpor is going down quite a bit. All right, come here, bro. Just one more hit. One more hit and it's done. Oh, come on, come on. Reload, reload. This is it. Please, baby. Yes, we got the hit and down for the count. All right, two exceptional kibble. Wow, that guy took quite a bit of torpor because our darts do so much. So incredibly much. So that's pretty impressive. All right, so it was two yellow kibble. So there we go. One, two. And done. Not bad, not bad. The Wind Rider. Let's go ahead and put him on passive. Unfollow. Let's give him the whole pickup shenanigans. So we can grab him on our shoulder, bring him back to the base. Bam, bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. I love it. Love it, love it. Look at that little guy on my shoulder. All right, guys, let's get back to the base and let's go check out our new Wind Rider. All right, guys, I can't believe how successful that was. What a beautiful, beautiful looking creature. Seriously, it is so incredibly epic. I love the colors. Look at that blue green with the red wings. It's gorgeous. And it's about, I mean, it's a, it's about the same size as the Atlas Drake, but it definitely stands like his back is taller. He is a pretty epic creature. I, I don't know if it's a he though. Yeah, it is a he. It is a he. Wow, it is so cool. So anyway, just about every, in this new mod that we added, just about every single creature has its own distinct saddle, which is interesting because all the other mods like this, there's just like a one, one fits all rune or relic. But with this one, there is actual saddle. So that's pretty cool. I do a like of that. However, the Wind Rider doesn't have one and it will, it is compatible though with the, I think it's called the Wyvern Stone. That's probably from like some type of Flyers mod. And then it also works with the Pyrean Dragon Kinship Rune. So that's pretty sweet. So stat wise, wow, almost 100,000 to boot, almost 90,000 to boot, 8,000 stamina, very cool, totally loving it, over 2,000 carry weight, nice, 900% melee, but this is interesting, there's no movement speed, there's no movement speed, so this guy, hopefully, he's fast enough, but this does not evolve. We're not going to get movement speed later on down the line. So it is what it is. So we'll see about that. Um, let me go and check out the bestiary form and let's read up. Let's see what is the deal with this new wind rider. All right. So it spawns in mountains, scorch mountains, luminous marshlands, sunken forest, tundra and lava biomes. It's a knockout tame, um, a large brawler of a wyvern unlike any other the Ark has seen. Cool. While wyverns are adept at flight and flying in the air with dragons, poor in the air but phenomenal in the ground combat, the Wind Rider, that was a real uh, mess there, the Wind Rider is a mix of both. Okay. Um, it is an excellent flyer with the ability to regenerate stamina mid-air when not sprinting. That's cool, similar to the Drake that we had yesterday. Okay, I like that already. Um, and it is also one of the fastest flying creatures around, earning it the name by some as a Lord of the Skies, also called, I can't even pronounce it, F-A-F-N-I-R. Um, these giants are as physically durable as they seem and more with powerful bodies and arms capable of delivering stone shattering blows few will find a more physical powerful flyer tamed wind riders natural uh, natural affinity 
and fascination with ores and precious metals can be put to good use, becoming one of the best resource farming mounts a survivor can ask for. Wow, this sounds pretty good. I'll be honest with you, on paper, all these things sound epic. It's the fastest, it can gather all the minerals the best, um, it's super powerful, I mean, geez. And he, I, I hope that's all true because he can't do the movement speed. All right, it's immune to radiation. It comes with many emotes and roars for aesthetic and role play purposes. These went largely unused in dark and light. Drastically reduces the weight of most mineral resources in its inventory, being stone, metal, obsidian, crystal, etc. Left click is a bite, great damage, which I was kind of surprised that looks like a pretty weak bite, but says it's great damage right click attack on the ground is an arm slam all right that's cool deals heavy knockback and cannot be used while moving but harvests mineral resources all right cool right click while flying is a grab it grabs creatures as large as a rex no way all right let's go in the air all right there's the grab let's land again that's a land again all right so that's cool um where was i um the c is the threaten emote oh that's pretty epic i like that so that's the threaten emote x is the roar emote can be done while flying if this does not work you need to rebind your dino air break um so it's the air break key Whoa, dude, that is an epic roar. Holy cow, that is super cool. All right, and there's more. There's more. Um, O is a taunt emote. He's like, what are you, chicken? <laughs> That's so cool. All right, um, left control does more emotes? Does a, it says key nuzzle emote? Oh, that's kind of cute. All right, that's really cool. Um, right control does a flaunt emote. My goodness, I've never seen right control before. That's pretty cool. This guy is awesome. All right. Um, oh, there's more. Oh, no, no, no. There, we already did O. We did O, right? Yeah, that was the chicken one. All right. And then finally, spacebar is fly. Wow. That is pretty impressive, and I can see why uh, this guy in role playing, especially having so many different emotes, they don't really do anything, but they're cool. Now, off the bat, this guy's a pretty impressive flyer for sure. Um, it, it definitely flies faster than it walks. It doesn't seem to have a soar of any type. It doesn't have any fire type damage, so it's really just this that that and then what was it c and c is the pickup so i think that's everything but tons of emotes all right so we'll see um it's one of the best gatherers was it was said let me see my good i was in k mode i hate that when i forget that i'm in k mode um i'm definitely not saying that it's one of the fastest flyers but that's probably because if you're comparing it to vanilla creatures, most vanilla flyers, you can't bump speed. So it's probably just a faster base speed. I really wish you could have bumped the speed on him. All right, so C, was that? No, that was one of the emotes. Which one was the, was it right click was the ground? Yeah, there we go. Not bad. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Definitely, uh, I don't know about calling it the best, but it's definitely pretty decent. Um, I'm sure it gets better as you put in more melee. Let's just go run over to where there's some metal. I just want to see the harvest on a metal node. So, and of course, it can get obsidian and crystal too, which is cool. Um, do we have any metal? I remember there's a whole bunch of metal somewhere over here. Hopefully, I didn't fly across it already. Let's see. I know up around, if I have to, I'll fly all the way over there all the way up over by the world border there's tons of metal nodes also a place where i think this is where i get my obsidian i can never remember all right let's just see metal nodes metal nodes where are you all right we're gonna do a quick little teleport because this is 
I'm getting disoriented. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Um, metal crystal cave. We could just go there. Why don't we just go there? That will be all faster. And, and we'll see if he fits in here. That's going to be the next question. All right, he does fit. That's a cool. He can fly in the cave. That's a cool. All right, and let's get just a metal node by itself. All right, so this is not a one of the dense metal nodes. This is one of the smaller ones. All right, that's not bad. I mean, again, we have not pumped the melee at all. And then let's try this one. Um, oh, that was a rock. All right, not bad. Oh, that still wasn't the dense one. Wow, look when we do the dense one. That's pretty cool. All right, now looking at the weight, we do have a full... Look at that, a stack of 5,000 only weighs 75. It weighs 500 on us. That's pretty cool. I, I do, overall, I think this guy's pretty neat. Let's go see how he is as a battle mount now. So harvesting seems pretty decent. Definitely very cool looking. None of the attacks look especially ferocious. The emotes are, are very interesting. He almost looks like he's like a troublemaker or like a, a comical type of guy. All right. So again, we have not pumped any levels in yet. Ooh, okay, almost 900 with that bite. That's impressive on an Anklo. Holy, that is where it's at. So the right click, that's the metal harvesting one. That does significantly more. Way, way, way more. Now this one, you can only, I believe, do this move while you're, while you're on the ground. What does that move do while you're in the air? Right click while flying grabs the creature. Yeah, is that is that it? There's so many. I'm, I'm trying to look through all the different moves. Yeah, that looks like it's it. So that is pretty impressive, though, for an unboosted attack hitting over a thousand. Very, very few creatures have done that in this mod to begin with. I mean, not even like I don't even think our Dota Raxes were hitting that hard. I don't know. Or, you know. Is pretty impressive. All right, and then let's try the pickup. Yeah, look at that. Can I bite him while he's in my arms? That's kind of a double-edged sword. If you don't actually bite a creature, it's in your claws, it can be handy because you can pick up a creature for taming and still defend yourself. So, I mean, that's a really cool feature. But at the same time, it's nice to be able to pick up and bite him. It just all depends on what you want to do with him. All right, I'm digging this guy. He's definitely awesome looking. And yeah, just no no elemental part of him. Pretty slow walker, although I suppose it could be worse. I think it would just be vastly improved if it had A, I think a dive bomb could be amazing, especially, especially if the movement speed isn't gonna get fixed so that you can bump it. But I, I think being able to bump the movement speed would be the coolest. I'm curious if you got one of the flyer mods, if maybe that would allow that, you know, like the classic flyer types, but pretty cool. I dig them overall. I think it is now time that we start to boost this guy. Let me just clear out his inventory. I know that stuff doesn't weigh all that much on him, but yeah, just every little bit helps. And I definitely could use this metal. So sweet. In fact, why I, I give it to my my Rodan now, our Balrog, and he can cook it all up for us. Yeah, there we go, give him some more food and yummies. And you know what, you can just hold on to that stuff for him for now anyway. Bada boom, beautiful. And it looks like, I think we had, there was an update, so we had to restart the server. So I think that prevented him from making all the black pearl dust overnight. So that's pretty cool. So let's get this Wind Rider definitely to max attack, for sure. Um, yeah, I think, I think the attack is going to be really all we have to do. You know, an absolute must. No other thing is a must on there, but we'll probably do, I'm guessing just health. I think his stamina is fine. Maybe a little bit of weight, but the weight's pretty decent too. Um, and let's give him some XP potions to help a level up. Yeah, I just wish that's going to be the real limiting factor. While it is fast stock compared to other creatures that can't boost, it's a it's it's pretty slow compared to anything that can boost. Wow, that is some serious power though. That is some serious power. It's I think it's funny that the bite does so much less. 
I don't know why that is. I guess he has kind of a little head. I'm surprised there's not like a a slicing move. Eh, it kind of is a slice. But like, see the spike? Like, why couldn't he bring his chin down like, like it's an axe or something? You know? Oh, I wonder if he can pick up a Bronto. Can you? It says you can pick up a Rex, but I don't know if a Rex is technically considered the same or more than. Looks like he can't pick up Brontos. So Bronto's definitely bigger, bigger than a Rex. All right, come on, bro. Smash, get smashed. Get wrecked. The attacks especially, oh, you know what? That attack, I can't, there's no cooldown. But if I'm trying to chase a guy, he cannot do that while moving. And it seems like, let me see, I'm going moving forward. Yeah, it just stops him dead, which is fine. So we got to use, if we want to keep on doing it and chasing the guy, we got to use the left click, the weaker attack. But that's fine. That is A-OK -okay with me. Come here, bro. Oh, and I wish the, and the stronger attack also doesn't work while you're flying. So if you're going head to head with a Wyvern or something, you only really have this one course of action doing that left click, which is the weaker attack. I mean, it's not like significantly weaker, but well, it kind of is. It kind of is, but either way, this thing is absolutely baller town. Um, let's test out the stamina thing. So I'm not moving and stamina is going up. That's cool. But the amount of emotes you can do in the air is sick. So the left control emote doesn't work in the air. The right control one doesn't work in the air. The O1 does not work in the air. And yeah, so really that's the only emote in the air, I think. Oh, and the X, yeah. It's crazy how many there are. I can't even remember them all. There's so many. It's a crazy town. All right. And it definitely significantly better, better fly speed when you sprint. All right, I dig it. I dig it. Well, we're gonna get levels pretty quick in this guy. And you know what, with, with how strong he is, I think we're gonna be able to make some pretty good work of most, most creatures and even some bosses. The limitation of not having an elemental attack might be the downfall for him. You know, as far as making him a boss killer. Because, I mean, that, that attack from yesterday was... On the, the Drake was ridiculous. Of course, that's a different mod, though, too. My goodness. But this guy's awesome. I love him. And he's got some really good immunities, too. You can definitely use him in the radiation zone, which is always nice. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I dig him. All right, so I'm going to level him up a good bit. And we already got a good bit of levels. Let's just see what with another 50 levels what he's looking like and it looks like he harvests wood too which is cool all right all right so come here wow <laughs> yeah so we're definitely gonna get over the 10,000 mark um i wouldn't be surprised i i'm gonna guesstimate we're gonna be somewhere 15 to 20 probably closer to 15 for the final but we'll see we'll see i don't know it might even get better but i dig him i dig him all right guys making out pretty well i've been grinding for a while for a real long while in this guy and we're up to 250 into the attack so just five more levels and then we're done and yes i did not take him into the bug cave if only it would only take like five minutes if that to get him to max probably max level let alone max attack but anyway it's getting up there look at that 17,000 with the uh the slam so it's close to what i estimated what i say 15 to 20. it's pretty impressive i'm i was actually kind of afraid that it wouldn't get that far then the normal bite the left click is doing the 12. so not bad i mean overall it, it's pretty cool and it is harvesting a lot of materials when i do it for stone and stuff it really is an excellent creature for gathering and more of like a land-based brawler in the skies well it can defend itself and it can attack it is it is far superior just to walk around with them now i talked to the mod author a little bit and he said the reason for the lack of speed is just because if you're playing this more or less you know at like vanilla levels and with vanilla creatures it would just be too op if it was fast but the unfortunate thing is when you do it like that, if you're playing it with modded, here it's supposed to be the Wind Rider, one of the fastest creatures out there. 
and it becomes one of the slowest because he can't boost the speed. So he said he'll think about changing it so that we can boost speed in it. And I think that will be huge and possibly, possibly add in some more attacks. Like I think this emote right here, oh man, that would be amazing for like a big knockback, you know, as well as like, you know, some type of damage. Oh, it is so crazy cool. That, I mean, there's a lot of really cool ideas for it. So, and you know, basically he's limited to, you know, what the model is from dark and light. You know, and trying to keep somewhat true to dark and light so that it, you know, it can be kind of similar. But I don't think we're getting no lasers on it or anything like that. Although it would be sweet. It would be super sweet. All right, we got a Rex here. I haven't tried this yet. Let's try and pick up. Oh, look at that. See, we can pick up a Rex. Can we bite said Rex? No. So whatever it picks up, it does not bite. That's super handy if you can also, I'm assuming, pick up a tamed creature. And of course, it lets go of it as soon as you uh, as soon as you land like all flyers do oh but that is nuts so we definitely i'm pretty sure it should have max attack now yep one two three four and five what a beautiful thing what a beautiful thing all right so now those guys are probably mate boosted um let's do it again another guy all right so twelve thousand three hundred. impressive and then, are you still alive, bro? Come here, come here. And 17,000. All right. That is definitely impressive in this mod pack. It's not the strongest by any means, but it's up there with the best. Definitely up there with the best. And we also didn't get a perfect level one. I didn't even check what the attack was on this guy. So we got a 70. That's pretty, I mean, as you can see here, that's one of his better stats. And to tell you the truth, being that there's no speed and no stats put into speed, that does help out all the other stats. So, I mean, that is a plus side to it. You know, it, it, from the uh, RNG of the stats, with taming, if he had speed, there could definitely be wasted speed stats. So that is pretty cool. You know, that would actually would put this guy more in line with it being like over 300. Just, I mean, maybe then way over. So that's pretty good. This is pretty good. I can't complain about what our attack stat was for it. Um, so this is probably, if you're playing max level 300, among one of the better ones that you can get. So you might be able, if you're real lucky, be able to get a variation that can get up to 20,000. But I, I think it would be pretty unlikely. Pretty unlikely. Now, this guy did have a gender. Does it also say enable... Yeah, it looks like you can breed these guys. Unfortunately, they're pretty rare on Valgaro. Um, I actually, we added this mod in yesterday, and uh, actually two days ago for you guys by the time you watch this, and this is the first one I've seen spawn on the server. So yeah, we definitely lucked out with it, but I, I like this guy a lot. I think it's a really cool creature, and I think as soon as we can boost movement speed on it, it's gonna change it. It's gonna be a whole new animal. It, you're just not gonna be able to mess with it. Definitely not. But yeah, very uh, very strong brute force creature, an amazing, amazing gatherer. So very cool. I dig it, I dig it. Wow. All right, well, other stats that we might wanna do. Oh, there's that stupid beacon. Look at it, up my dragon's butt. It loves to go up my creature's butts. It's like a butt beacon. I don't even know what it's thinking. Don't even know. Um, other stats for us to boost in this guy. Obviously, if he's going to be an attacker, getting the health up would be of use. The stamina, I have not noticed any stamina issues whatsoever. Um, weight, though, if I go crazy with the harvesting, even at the amazing amount of, you know, how, how much stuff weighs on him, it does fill up. So wait, I'm probably gonna boost the crap out of it. Probably gonna get it to like 10,000. In fact, why don't we do that right now? They're pretty decent boosts. And it also helps you to go faster if you're not weighed down. So why don't we get this to eight for now? And then let's boost up. The only other stat I think really that's useful is the health and look at that. Almost 200,000 with just a few. That is pretty respectable boosting. I like this guy. I think it is a super great addition to the team. 
And man, is it cool. Just all the emotes. Love them. The chicken emote. We got the barking slam. We got the... Oop. Oh, crap. I went out of K-mode. Left control. Come on, baby. Ooh, what was that? Oh, I think this is the cuddling one. Oh, he's it's the submissive. See, he puts his little flap down, and if there's another one, it cuddles with it. Crazy cool. Um, See? Yeah, he's like, my way or the highway, bro. My way or the highway. And this one, that's his do not mess with me. He goes, do not mess with me. Yeah. I love it. All right, guys, we're getting pretty close to time. I've been trying to think of other stuff I want to do. I'm pretty impressed with that guy. I think we did enough with our, um, what the crap are you called? Wind Rider for today, but we do not want to neglect our Dota Rex. So we've got him to beta, and I still don't think we're going to be able to get him to alpha in a day. But, I mean, we could if we, like, spent the whole day grinding. But... I think we need to get little by little, you know, the kill count off. Because we need almost 3,000 kills. That's a lot of kills to do. You know what I'm saying? That's a real lot. And if we don't do it little by little, it's never going to get done. And I'm going to end up grinding for hours one day just trying to do it. So I think we could get it up to maybe like 500 to 1,000 today before the day's over. And I mean, it's already going pretty quick. We've already more than doubled. More than doubled the amount that, uh, you know, that he had on him. Starting off just a few minutes ago, a few seconds ago. All right, come on. I do recall this guy could fit into the bug cave. It was not very entertaining to watch, but that is likely the absolute optimal way of doing it. So maybe, just maybe, we can do that real quick. Why don't we go on over? Why the heck not? So that is now, I renamed it. It used to be Spider something or something like that, but now I actually have the artifacts name. So this is the one that's closest to the artifact of the immune. I think we can start on over here because this is a spot I can actually teleport to and fit in. So that's cool. Um, Sometimes there's a bunch of bugs over here. Sometimes there isn't in this starting off area. You know what I forgot to get and I should have got? I should have got some rare flowers. That would make, oh man, I'm already getting into a spot I can barely move. Already, already. All right, let's pick him up. It's so crazy with this hat. All right, let's move on up. Did I already gamma up? I always gamma up in here to gamma two. Or no, it's like gamma four, I think. But it's my F2 key. All right, come on guys, let's -a go, let's -a go. Let's turn this on so we can see where they are. So Leech is up the wazoo over here. Come here, bros. I'm still unsure, and I'm afraid to test it because I don't want to even waste a kill on a test. But I'm curious if the flame attack actually gives me credits for the kill. Now, another thing some of you guys were suggesting, because if I put this guy in here on wander, or, you know, just on attack everything by himself, he would technically go and attack everything, and we could even leave. I'm not sure what would happen to a creature that's in a, you know, in a cave when no one's there to render it in, I'd be kind of afraid he'd glitch through the ground, and that's why I haven't wanted to try that. But some people said, what if you put him on attacking and then just had him on your shoulder while you walked around? And that likely would work. But, again, I think it's just faster if I do it, even if it's glitchy, you know? All right, let's see. Watch the kill count. Uh, I didn't kill anything there. Watch the kill count. Oh, yeah, it did work. It did work. As long as they die, I think, to the flame and not to, you know, from the initial hit and not from residual fire damage, it likely works. Oh, that was the money shot right there. Holy crap of nuggets. That was ridiculous. Yeah, but I keep getting stuck here. It's annoying. All right, let's try some of the other attacks. All right, that got a few killed. That didn't do as well. I think just the right click is probably the optimal way of doing it. Get a couple bites in here. All right. Ugh, I get afraid about, do I have leeches on me? Holy crap, look at all the leeches that are on me. I've never seen that many leeches on anything before. That's crazy. 
That is super crazy. Now, I wonder if I put this guy into a soul ball, if the leeches would stay on him. You know what I'm saying? I'm also, it would be neat if there was like an attack that the Dodo Rex, like a fire creature could do. Oh man, and then it, see, it looks like there's a, a leech on me. So hold to remove leeches. Poor guy, too many leeches on you. There we go. And do we have another one? I can't see. It looks like that was the only one. All right, not bad, not bad. Let's go on out. Let's go to the outside part of the cave. I'm, there's a few more creatures in here, but I ain't gonna waste the time trying to get just a couple little stragglers. So that gave us up to 192. That's a good start. But we definitely need to do more. We still have not seen this dang... There's supposed to be like a mini brood mother or something here on this map. And we still have not seen it. And we don't know why it's not to working. Did I already get this guy to max attack? Let me just look. No, we have not. We've got a long way to go. All right, let me get this though on. No, in this folder. Do I even have... Yeah, I have that on him. I just need to get this on him. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Who's attacking me? Learn your place in the pecking order. Can you believe their nerve? Seriously. Oh man, they're gonna make me all slow. All right, few more kills there. All right, let's get these levels in, because yeah, we've not done that yet. I can't believe it. Oh, and we gotta remember, we cannot go over 1050. We have to stop leveling once we hit 1050. So, always an important thing. We can always mind wipe if we go over by mistake, but it's just better. It's just better if you don't go over. All right, cool. Let's go like this, dump out all this shenanigans. That we don't need. We'll get it again from going through the cave. All right, so this time going in, and by the way, I'm not using XP potions just because we have so many kills. He's going to get to max regardless. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's use a health potion. All right, let's run on down here and we should get, I have not been in this part of the cave today. So we should have an absolute crap ton of bugs. We're just gonna do this section and then we will call it a day for our Dodo Rex. All right, here we go. Once we get right to there, quickly mount. Did I mount him? Oh, ride. Oh crap. Oh crap, what's going on? It's like dismounting me, I think. All right, I think I'm on him now. Beautiful. Beautiful, all right. Nice! This attack is working out here, the right click. I cannot see what I'm doing. That's, this is the first person, that's the third person. Cannot see, this is why I haven't, I didn't level this guy up quick. If you could actually see in here. Yeah, I would have already been alpha, but I did not want to put you guys through this. At least to, you know, almost 3,000 kills. That would be awful. But it's still pretty decent. It's still pretty decent. But I almost think it might be more fun just to level this guy up outside the cave. All right. Do another attack. Do another attack. I'm trying to get those guys. When they're at my feet, I really can't get them. I really can't do much. Yeah, it is pretty brutal. It is pretty brutal. Last little section here. Oop, couple of good kills there. I thought I saw a few more out of the corner of my eye. Yeah, this is just so not meant to be done this way. At all. It is way too big. Alright, alright. Few more, few more. There's a good section here. Come on, come on. I know I'm seeing more. Oh, lordy, lord, lord, lordy. All right, there's a bunch over here. They might not have gone to this lower pool section. I don't even know where I am, bro. I don't even know where I am. Oh, oh, here we go. Come on, come on. There's a whole bunch. All right, can we just get to 300? I said we we're going to get to five, but that might be pushing it. All right, I can see a whole bunch there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. 300. All right. I'm pretty happy with that. For, you know, starting out. And this guy, by the way, once he's alpha, we, this is going to be, I guarantee, is going to be the strongest creature that we own. Absolute insanity. All right. Come on, bro. He's 
brutal by the feet. Huge blind spot. This guy definitely needs a move that can handle that. Or like a stomp. You know? All right, I think we are good. I think we did good enough for today. I'm happy with that. We're getting somewhere. Prog progress is being done. And look at that, I can't teleport because my head is sticking through. All right, guys, let's get back to the base. Let me go through those comments. All right, guys, I just went through the comments and yes, it is that time. That's right, time to name the dinos. For those of you that do not know, at the end of every single episode, I go through the comments of the previous episode and I pick out all the most awesomest name suggestions that you guys leave in the down there. That's right, just remember, if you wanna have a chance at getting your name chosen, you gotta be a subscriber, so smash that subscribe button. And you got a comment down below. It's just that easy and it could be you. Anyway, for today, we have our Atlas Drake to name and this name kind of stuck out for me. I liked it, I liked it. Check it out. You know how I'm a big Borderlands fan? Well, Firehawk. Yeah, it's not a hawk, but that's, that's a special shield that uh, has to do with fire in Borderlands too. And it's pretty epic and I love it. I love it, Firehawk. It's pretty sweet. I also like Diablo. I liked Hades, but we always do names like that. So I thought this was a nice, refreshing change. Anyway, for next episode, we have the Wind Rider to name. Oh, it is so cool. So what crazy, awesome, epic names will you guys come up with? I don't know, but I can't wait to find out. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe for the Daily Arc awesomeness. And as always, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again and peace out.